Yeah, hi, my name is Chi Soon Juan. I'm the currently the Secretary General of the Singapore Dep. <laughs> <laughs> hi, my name is Chi Soon Juan. I'm a, a writer for my books here in Singapore. In the midst of my prison sentence, I had to um, come out, uh, attend a, a trial. So they brought me out in the orange overall uh, um, jumpsuit and my hands were shackled and my legs were shackled as well. And I came out and when I walked in the courtroom, my children were there. Uh, and then they came up and, and they were quite, I could see them, you know, they were a little um, rattled. They, they give you an, about 45 minutes and uh, there's this, you're in a, a remote room and you just communicate by the camera and you look at the screen. Then my youngest one was just jumping up and down, he really couldn't understand what, what was going on. So you're just there, you're just laughing and you just ask him, hey, how, was, uh, how are you guys, you know, what are you doing home and, and, and don't give mom a hard time and how is school, you know, and so, you, you know, you, you, you try to, to uh, stay positive when you're actually, you know, uh, uh, cracking up inside. And, and, uh, they had to say goodbye, and then you have to turn and, and, and to go back to your cell again. That was a difficult moment, I must say, looking back, um, that you wanted to just hold them, you know, and, and uh, uh, tell them that, you know, uh, I'm still here, I love you, but you couldn't get to them. A bankrupt could not operate a, 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 a independent bank account, so we had to rely everything on my wife. And then when you do your groceries, you've got to uh, report on a quarterly basis, and, they can, and then they will consider whether you're a cooperative or an uncooperative bankrupt. Well, for, on a day-to-day -day basis, you, you just had to, to just make do with uh, um, what we had, make sure that kids are still taken care of, uh, we didn't want to deprive them of, you know, what they really basically needed. But I never felt that the need to provide them with this big house, let them, you know, stay, uh, uh, drive in a big car, that kind of thing. That those were not my concerns. One, two, one. No, wait, show, show, hang on, hang on, show. You know, when, when, when kids being kids and then they're growing up, right? Uh, you, you put a camera in front of them and they just do cartwheels, they laugh, they, they want to get in front of the camera, they say silly things. They used to like go back and say, hey, 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 is that, that, that's you. And then they'll tease each other, you see, oh my gosh, you look so fat. And then they, they can, and then the other one says, ah, I can't believe it. And then, as I said, you know, after a few years, they don't want, they, they, they don't want to even look at it because they feel, they're very self-conscious. And you know, when they're teenagers, all of a sudden one day you see them close the door and you don't see them until they're in their 20s again, right? I'm so glad that I had the time to uh, grow up with my kids. As you know, I mean, we live in a three-room flat, so how much space can there be for all of us? You know? But the, the, the physical proximity that we had, to me, it was a blessing in disguise. You know, I get to spend, see them a lot. Of course, now that they're growing up, you know, they're finding their own activities already, but you, you begin to really appreciate what uh, spending time together is. Um, and I've always said that, that for me, my, my philosophy is, is that don't just love your children, but like them as well, and it may seem odd, what, what father, what parent won't love the children? But it's very different from you liking to, to spend time with them as much as you like to go to the, your, your golf, you know, uh, uh, on weekends or go to the pub or have some, you know, going out with your friends and that kind of thing. But liking also to do things with the children, that's, I, I think, uh, something which will really uh, um, bring you, uh, the whole family closer. 
tell them very, you know, but you, you, you cannot uh, go through life without watching them as well. Uh, and, and then getting a sense of uh, uh, how does that make me a better person as you relate to them. So that goes on through my mind and that's why, you know, to answer the question about where would I be, you know, if I was single and I, I, I would find it tremendously difficult to, to imagine that I'd be doing uh, uh, what I'm doing today, being the kind of person that I am today. And as I said, it's all been this whole uh, mishmash of, of people interacting together, children, my wife and, and so on, that has molded me and, and you know, just made me the person that, that I, I am today, for better or for worse. I know you guys have never complained. I do know that growing up, life was a little more different from the, the average kid in Singapore. What father would not always want to provide more for their children in terms of just the material things in life? But to, to, to know that this, in this life, that there are many, many things which are the, the intangibles, right? things you, you, don't, you can hold, that, that are, are more important nevertheless. And, and I hope that you, you, you've been able to see that in, in mom and I uh, um, as we brought you up. And that's the most important gift I think I can give to, to all of you. This is something which I don't say very much, but uh, thank you. Thank you for being my kids. You didn't choose to be, uh, but it's something which uh, I think I don't say enough of and mom doesn't say enough of it. Well, well, you know that I love you and that goes without saying, but we want you to be, uh, just stay uh, um, who you are and, and, and no matter what happens, we'll always have each other and you'll always have us.